Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play a Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Um, in between episodes, I went ahead and filled out this Humvee a little... I don't even know if we can call it a Humvee anymore. Uh, what, whatever it is, um, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's been filled out. Um, so yeah, I basically installed the cargo spaces in the middle. Uh, we have our kitchen unit over here to the right. Um, welding to the left, forge to the right. And we've got a lot of open spaces. Uh, we have some things we need to add in here as well as, of course, uh, more cargo spaces. And uh, let's see. I went through and um, basically around the edges, uh, you'll see that there is uh, military composite armor plating all around the edges. So uh, we are fully armored. And um, I, I took apart the frames and just reconfigured them a little bit. Uh, used a different uh, frame icon here. Uh, and, and that, that basically put this, uh, this view right here, uh, whenever you build the frames like that, you know, based on how you, the, the shape you build your frame in, um, it's going to give you a little bit different shape. And that's how this line right here became that. That was just that little pointy frame. And, uh, then I went ahead and installed some rams on the front, uh, which are basically like, um, I don't know, melee things for your car. Um, before we were using a frame that was, uh, armored and, and that worked fine. Uh, these just do a little bit more damage. Uh, the two on the outside are military composite rams and the one in the middle is a spiked ram, uh, because I ran out of military composite, uh, plating. <laughs> so I couldn't fill out the one in the middle. I'm not sure the difference. I don't see any like stats and I, I wasn't really able to locate anything online. Um, that, that gave me the numbers that I wanted. Uh, but just basically kind of looking at their base, the base stats of the military uh, composite armor as opposed to the spiked armor, uh, it, it's looking like these military composite ones are going to be just a little bit beefier. Um, another thing I did was installed these on the side uh, right here, these uh, uh, stow boards. Um, so it's like a board, a heavy-duty board that has like a little stow compartment in it. And uh, I'm currently sto storing the lifter in that one. And over here on this side, I have our bottle jack as well as our jerry cans. They, they hold a little bit, 47.5 liters. Um, so we can just kind of store some of that some of that vehicle stuff that we pull out every now and then. Uh, those will be located on the side here. Um, but that's uh, pretty much all of that. Um, there's a couple more things I want to add. And uh, let's see, where did I put all the tools? Oh, they're up here. Uh, I want a hammer and a screwdriver. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and put, can we put the M60 in here? Uh, this is one we're gonna mount on the top. I don't think I have, I think you need some rifle skill in order to mount that turret. Uh, so we can't quite do it yet, uh, but we will here someday. And uh, then we got a, a stack of, of extra parts over here <laughs> that uh, basically just left over. Um, a, a, as you may notice, uh, that other Humvee is is gone. And I also went through and did a little bit of organization. Um, I got a little bit of a junk pile over here of stuff that I just kind of threw away. I went through the uh, went through the ammo and guns that we had and, and picked out the prime ones. Uh, but I want to come over here and and get some parts. Uh, I want to start by disassembling these lockers to get basically some pipes and some sheet metal. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's do a control A and a north there. Um, do we have a hoe? I'm not going to be farming. I don't think we need, need a hoe. Uh, just do all of this stuff. Over there, I don't think I need the small locks and keys. Uh, we'll move them out of the pile. All right, and I want to drag all of this stuff uh, basically over this way. And uh, then I'm going to come up here and uh, let's see, there's some garbage in that. Let's get rid of the plastic bag. And I want to deconstruct this refrigerator and uh, grab all those parts as well. Uh, because we can we can install a mini refrigerator and and a mini freezer in our car, and that's something I'm interested in doing, especially in the summertime, uh, where we can go through and get, gather some plants. And uh, let's see, I'm not going to be able to get this over to the crafting spot. 
Uh, so we'll have to pick it all up. That that's fine. If we can carry it all. Yeah, no problem. Um, actually, that went to the pavement. I don't want it to go to the pavement. I want it to go in my hot little fingers. There we go. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and make a mini... Let's start with the mini freezer. Oh, that's going to take forever. Um, let's start with a workbench. Oh, and I can't build the workbench. Uh, we need two more sheet metals. Hmm. All right. Um, let's drop some stuff. And let's carry our partial mini fridge or, fridge around. Uh, let's see. Can we get some maybe out of this? Uh, get my inventory over there. Uh, sheet metal. We sure can. And maybe grab that. And uh, let's take the pot as well. I think we may need that. Uh, heating element. Pilot light. I don't know. We might need one of those. You know what? Let's just grab it all. It's always good to have uh, materials. Okay. Workbench. All right, it's pretty slow, too. Um, the workbench, uh, once we install that, uh, if you have a bench nearby, it'll use that for crafting instead of doing the hand stuff. But I believe the workbench also gives a little bit of a, um, a speed boost for crafting as well. Uh, let's see, can we confirm that? I... Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, but we can go ahead and install that in our vehicle. Uh, let's see, that's our kitchen unit. That is the electronics control unit. And I want this spot for crafting, this spot for cooking. So I want it to be on both sides. So maybe, maybe we install it right here. All right, so that's installed. Um, it is now to my left. And now I can activate the mini freezer. And it's still going slow, uh, still going very slow. Um, so this looks like a good time uh, to go ahead and roll the intro, and I will see you on the other side, where we should be close to finishing our mini freezer. All right, we were working on the mini freezer, and I got really, really tired, so decided to take a break and uh, take a nap. We are now very hungry. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Do we have any, do we have any food? Dried beans, fast noodles. Um, not really. Uh, let's see. We should have, uh, some MREs. Yeah. Uh, chicken chunks. Let's eat a chicken chunk MRE. Uh, so we need to activate the MRE to unload it. Okay, and that gives us uh, lots of stuff. Uh, there's also an accessory pack as well as a dessert pack. And that gets all the stuff on the ground. And uh, basically this is all the stuff that was inside the MRE. Um, I think we can go ahead and eat this, but we get negative one joy from eating the chicken chunks uh, because it's not hot. And uh, they become with a heat pack, so we can go ahead and use that heat pack to heat up the chicken chunks. And uh, then we can just eat all this stuff. Uh, why are we why are we stopped here? I'm not sure, but it's letting me go, so I'm just going to eat all of the things. Um, eat the vitamin. 
eat some chewing gum, and all the other stuff is garbage that we can leave behind. Uh, let's see, let's heat, leave the heat pack behind as well. Alright, so that should put us in a better mood. Let's just go ahead and uh, drink a little bit of water until we get nice and full. Alright, and um, work on craft in progress mini freezer. We got to 84%, so we still have a little ways to go. Uh, but boy, that last little part went really quick. Alright, uh, very, very excellent. Um, okay, let's install this. Um, maybe right here behind the driver's seat? All right, and uh, we now have a mini freezer. Excellent. Um, I've been kind of avoiding, uh, you, you know, hunting or, or trying to locate animals or butchering animals for meat because the meat just really doesn't last that long and you get a lot of meat from an animal. Uh, so with this mini freezer, we can actually freeze that meat and uh, it'll last a little bit longer. Um, so I think that's all I really want to do as far as building things right now. Um, I think that's all we can do. Uh, there's a couple more items I would like to get. There's the Food Co. Kitchen Buddy that we may or may not need. Um, thinking about a fridge? Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we need a chemistry set uh, that we can install in here. And as well as, of course, uh, more, more cargo spaces. Um, always, always necessary. Uh, but for now, I think we are done with this area. Uh, the farm's been good to us, but uh, I think it is time we move on. Um, so we've been around these cities like the whole time. I think it's kind of time we branch off a little bit. We did a little bit of exploration down this way. And there's a couple of cities down here we can take a look at. But we've we've also got one just right over here to our west. And I'm wondering if um, if this open plain is going to allow us access over there. Um, so I thought I would. I thought we could we could try it out. Um, we'll head that direction, and if we can go that way, fine. Um, if not, uh, we'll just turn around and go the other way. All right. Um, I should probably be trying to avoid. Oh, what do we have here? A uh, half worm, crack, spitter zombies. Um, anything interesting on the ground here? Cargo pants, steel toe boots. Uh, ooh, gun. Uh, not a great gun. I think we just kind of drive around it. Did I just hear a gunshot? Oh, I think it's probably the spitter uh, sound. Uh, move it, geese. All right, let's see. What do we got here? A cabin to the south. Not really worth investigating in our current state. Oh, and we're gonna hit some forest, but it looks like there may be a farm here, so we may have an inn there, depending on how how the farm's laid out. We'll just have to go down here and check it out. Hmm. All right, that looks like it goes into woods, but it looks like we may have an inn here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and slow down and kind of turn a little bit. Oh, uh, what, what do we hit? Oh, there's a rock there. Um, what am I looking at there? Huh. 
<laughs> right? Uh, somehow a worm has gotten in our car. I'm wondering if we ran over one or something like that. Uh, let's wield the Morning Star. Uh, we'll stop driving. And we got it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I don't think they drop anything. Yeah, one thing about the cars, um, they don't always... Uh, they don't always block everything 100% uh, from getting inside, uh, especially when you're, like, turning. Oh, there's a bush. Uh, you know what? We need to go ahead and clear out the way anyway, so let's uh, go ahead. We'll stop driving. Smash that bush, and we need to smash through this fence anyway. We could smash through with a Humvee after several tries. Um, in my experience, it's just a lot easier to do that. Uh, did that not... Okay, there we go. All right. And... Um... Okay, uh, this is a very similar layout to the farm we were just at. And uh, if we are lucky, are we going to be able to fit through that? Chance to test out my driving skills here. Oh, look at that. Like a needle. Th a thread. A thread. Thread goes through the needle. The needle doesn't go through the thread. All right, so we are here now, and uh, we have a straight shot into the city. I think I think it, it would be wise. Um, uh, it it would it, it it'd be a good use of our time just to go ahead and check the house out, see if there's anything interesting in here. Uh, baseball cap. Uh, moonshine. <laughs> Might as well uh, take whatever food items we can. Meat soup, pork and beans, curry, oatmeals, yeah. Alright, that works. And more food up here, dog food, bird food, salt, yeast. All right, not a, not a, not a little bad haul there for our food supplies. Um, a hairpin. Do I have a hairpin? I don't think I do. Uh, let's go ahead and wear that hairpin. Um, I believe those are the ones that are super useful. It's something you can wear... Uh, but you can also use it to pick locks. It's a twofer. Uh, multivitamins. I think I've got a lot of those. Um, I have not been taking them, though, so we probably should start doing that. A couple of books, blankets, and... All right, let's go check the garage. Mm. Nothing I'm interested in. A full lighter. Uh, boy, I think we, I feel like we've got like a million of those already. Um, okay, let's see. We do have a zombie right here. Uh, feral runner. Let's uh, see if we can switch over to the compound bow. I don't think we're going to have enough time. Oh, no, we got plenty of time. All right, and he has killed a sheep. All right, um, he's killed several sheep. Oh, and there's a amigo. Uh, where's where's the amigo? Oh, he's coming to get us. Um, boy, I was excited at the opportunity to get a chance. Uh, can we just can we pick up one of these sheep? Do you think? Uh, no. Um. Uh, 
Oh, it won't fit in the freezer. Um, hmm. Uh, it's too big to fit in that area. Uh, we need 81 volume. Ah, we have 81 volume there. I uh, just gotta find, just gotta find where the sheep went. <laughs> there he is, right there. All right, so we now have a sheep. Um, we're not gonna be able to to see what's in the garage, but that's that's okay. Yeah, I just I don't I don't want to mess with the Migo. Um, we might be able to take him. Actually, you know what we could take him with? Uh, we could take him with our Humvee. Uh, that wouldn't be a problem at all for the Humvee. If we can do it, uh, carefully. Uh, let's wield our compound bow. Alright, I think he sees us. He's down there in the lower right in the fence there. Um, he's still not in range. Okay, now he is. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. Oh, he's disappeared. We go for one more. All right, and then we're just gonna retreat to the car. Then back up, and then reverse course, and introduce him to our ram. Oh, they, that, that has him running away. Ha! Got him. All right. Okay, so now we can, uh, now we can butcher sheep at our leisure. <laughs> All right, let's see. We had another uh, sheep corpse over here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab him and take him up here. Actually, let's uh, go ahead and pick it up. And haul him over here to the car. Uh, drop him right there. Let's see, do we have a... Um I'm trying to remember what we need to do butchery. Uh, the hunting knife, I believe, has the highest quality butchering quality. Okay, that has 30. Uh, the survival knife has seven. Uh, yeah, we're, 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 going, we're going hunting knife, I believe. And I believe we... Let's see, can we use a tarp for that? I think there's one kind of tarp we can use. I don't know, let's just, let's just see. Uh, full butchery, okay. Uh, technique used, uh, yields plenty, but it's time consuming. Your best tool has 30 butchering. Um... Requires a rope and a tree or a butchering rack. A flat surface. Either a butchering rack or a long rope in your inventory in a nearby tree. Um, let's get rid of that sound. There we go. Catch our breath. Uh, let's uh, eat... Okay, and let's dump off the rest of that in here. All right. Um, butchering knife, metal butchering wrap, short ropes, six wires, two spikes,
We don't have that, uh, but we do have a long rope. And a tree. Oh, uh, reset. Reset the filter. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we have a tarp, a long rope, and a butcher knife. Uh, and let's see, we've got... Um, Where was that other? Bruised corpse of a sheep. It's down here. Got him? All right. Um, let's go down here to like uh, this tree. All right, and let's see if we can do this now. Uh, sheep, full butchery. A leather tarp spread out on the ground would suffice, or a table. Activate. Do we still? Do we not have our? Does the the uh, uh, tarp? Okay, you say you need a leather tarp. Uh, can we make a leather tarp? Uh, we can. Um, activate leather tarp. Here. <laughs> activate leather tarp there. Okay, so we've got a tarp on the ground now. Uh, we should have everything we need now. Butcher the sheep. Full butchery. Now we need a saw. I don't know if you told me that before. All right. <laughs> uh, in, in other games, what I've done is uh, just grab the butchery rack, and I guess that had everything that we needed all together. Uh, wood axe. Uh, let's see, do we have the saw? Is it over here? Uh, wood saw. Wood saw, maybe it's a hacksaw. I don't know, you say saw. I, I, I don't trust you. Butchery, sheep, full butchery. Hey, look at that! We're doing it! <laughs> All right, and uh, let's do the other one as well. All right, now we got stuff and things. Uh, let's see what we have made. All right, butchery refuse, not interested in that. Uh, chunks of fat, uh, yes please. Chunks of meat, take those. Uh, large stomachs. Uh, normally, I'm not into uh, kidneys and brains and uh, pancreas and, and and these sort of things, uh, but uh, bones, sinew, and wool. Uh, we'll take we'll take that. Sure, why not? All right, and um, let's see, that's going to be our freezer. Let's put all of the meat into the freezer. All right, so we've uh, basically filled it up almost uh, almost halfway uh, with two sheep. That's good to know. And uh, some of these items here, go ahead and throw in the back here. Bones. Um... Not sure if we're going to use those, but um, uh, we have them now if we run across a recipe that needs them. I know you can use them to make broth as well as some other things. All right, but uh, that is good. Okay, let's uh, just go ahead real quick and turn on our freezer. Um, so that is working. 
And uh, let's see. Take down the leather tarp. Take down the leather tarp. How did that go in my inventory? No. And uh, we got a couple of these as well. I'm, I'm assuming this is just wool fiber. Yeah, we could make this into uh, possibly wool patches maybe or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to find out. All right. But that is... That is grand. All right, so we've got some uh, we've got some of our food supplies restocked a little bit. Um, let's see. Do we have any yeast? We have twenty five out of six hundred. That uh, we have two of those. We have fifty yeast. Uh, and there is a recipe, I think, for yeast, which requires one yeast and produces uh, two hours. It'll produce more yeast. Okay, and um, the idea being that uh, where, where I'm going with this is we have yeast, we can make more yeast, and that recipe was what again? We, we have everything for that? Okay, we can do that. Uh, we can batch do it, right? No, we can just do one. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And it says in two hours that will turn into um, turn into yeast. I, I just want to see how that goes. Uh, because if we break into this silo, uh, we can loot the wheat out of it. Uh, we can take that wheat, turn it into flour, which we may have some flour up here. Who knows? And uh, then we'll have like a, a good supply of bread. Yeah, we've got some flour here. Um, how much? Who knows? Uh, 10. Okay. And to make just regular bread, we actually need 20. All right. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, just kind of, kind of planning ahead here on, uh, now that we have meat and we have bread, um, I can see us making some nice mutton sandwiches. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you uh, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't feel like we got a lot done here. Uh, we did make it over here, though, and we are on the outskirts of Oaksbridge. Uh, Ux Oaksbridge. And uh, Douglas. Okay. I, I, I can pronounce that. Uh, so, yeah. Um,. I guess we'll do a little bit of exploring in those cities in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.